In this video I'm talking about the rich gets richer and the poor gets poorer thinking and what's wrong with this kind of thinking. Just to make it clear, I'm talking about rich people and poor people who are normal, healthy people so they can work, run a business and they are not criminals. So I'm not talking extreme cases when people use their power, they commit crimes or the other end that they are disabled, mentally disabled, physically disabled. So I'm talking about normal people, let's say most of your classmates in the primary school, most of in the secondary school or even at the university or your colleagues. So the people who are very average people. They don't have any special power to exploit other people and they don't have any main disabilities that ruins their chances. So still in this case we can hear that people say this and think this way that oh it's so bad that the rich just get richer and the poor gets poorer and it's not fair. No. The problem with this thinking this is output oriented so that why do people have so much money it's bad this is envy this is actually those people who think like this those are the poor people because they don't really think about how can I create more value for myself and for other people they are looking at other people's money so this is one problem that don't look at other people's money don't be envy and they are not looking the input so if somebody becomes rich let's say run a business it means that other people the customers gave the money to them so probably they create products services that people value so if somebody is rich it means that other people voted with their money and gave the money to them to say thank you for their work, product and services and the poor person who didn't earn enough money because in the whole earth, 8 billion people nobody really thought that this person has a lot of value to provide for them so if somebody doesn't receive enough money it is because other people judge them that they are not good enough to give the money for them and so this is receiving the money but somebody can be poor because they are spending the money for example gamble or make stupid investments or they just travel all over the world they don't save anything and then now they don't have money and they complain so for me people who complain that they are poor it is because they are thinking and their actions so again I'm talking about people who could be able to do anything like other normal people so not extremely sick or not extremely uh, guilty and criminals but just normal people so <clears throat> If you are this kind of person who complains about this, it's your fault. If you are poor, it is your fault. At least poor compared to your similar peers, like, like people in your secondary school. Because let's say if you were born in a different society, so let's say if you were born in a poor country compared to a rich country and you're an average person, of course, there will be a huge differences. So where you were born, what is your family background, influences your financial situation. <clears throat> That's why we can look at this that compared to your, the people who are very close to you, that physically close or in a same situation. And if you think that you are poor, in that society it is because 
you spent your money or you didn't improve yourself, you didn't train yourself, you didn't pay attention in the school, you didn't work after work, you didn't study after work and you didn't improve yourself. So compared to a person who started at the same level, let's say when you were 10 years old, then it is your fault and also it is your chance to improve yourself if you start to do the things, maybe if you are very old, it's too late. Okay. So compared to people who were in very similar situation, people can be very rich, become very rich or very poor. And it is on the individual. Yes, the society has a huge influence and the parents and the circumstances influences. That's why I'm talking about that even if we narrow down to the people who were in very similar position because they lived in the same country, were in the same social level at the starting point in the school, but 30, 40 years later there are huge differences, it is on you.